Hi, I'm Brad Wild from the Go Wild team at Remax. So sadly, our summer has come to an end. But on the positive side, the Guelph real estate market appears to be continuing to heat up. This is what happened in the August market. We look at the number of sales, there were 193, which is up 5% from August last year. So this is now the second month in a row where we've had higher sales year over year. So it's a good indication that our market is continuing to grow. Looking at number of active listings, we had 363, so that is up 25% from last August, but it's down slightly from July. And number of new listings to hit the market, we had 250 this month, which is up 18% from August of last year. So a lot more new inventory hit the market this year. Now looking at uh, average sale price, we had an average sale price of $502,000 across all housing categories, so that's up 8% from uh, August of 2017. Diving into more detail, our detached houses, they're up 3%, attached houses are up 2%, and then condo style apartments are up 18%, so huge amount of return there. But positive numbers across all housing categories, which is great. Now, for the houses that are selling, they're getting on average 98.7% of list price. So for if you're selling your house, what that means is that you're getting pretty close to your asking price right now, but there is still a little bit of negotiations going on. Of the houses that are selling, 19.4 are going to multiple offers and selling above asking. And when you look at those houses that are selling above asking in more detail, in the month of August, every single one of them was listed under $600,000, which shows you the difference in the activity in that lower price point compared to above that $600,000 price mark. Now, looking at our months of inventory, which is our supply and demand for the market. Right now, we've got 1.88 months of inventory, which remained flat from July. Anything under five months of inventory is considered seller's market. So right now, we are in a strong seller's market. But when looking at months of inventory, we have to look at this in more detail. We have to look at it at different price points to get the full picture of what's going on in the market. So as I indicated before, everything under $600,000, you've got one month of inventory. So very, very strong seller's market. Between 600 and a million, we've got about three months of inventory. So still seller's market, but we are approaching a little closer to a balance. And then at the million dollar plus price point in Guelph, we've got five months of inventory on the market. So it is a balanced market. However, the interesting thing is that we had over 10 months of inventory on the market for the million dollar plus price point in July. So we had a lot more activity in that higher end price point in August than we did in the previous month. Overall, when we look at our market, uh, for August it was a great month. Number of sales are up year over year as well as the average sale price. Anything listed under that $600,000 price point is moving very, very well, and we are starting to see an increase in activity in the higher price points as well, which is a good indication. We look at our Toronto market. Right now, Toronto has 2.6 months of inventory, which makes Toronto the strongest seller's market in all of Canada for a major city. And that's a good indication that Guelph market will continue to build and grow alongside that greater Toronto market. Because of this, we're predicting to have really strong September and October months. Typically sometime in November, late November to early December, we will start to see things slow as we approach the holiday season, but that's a normal thing for us to experience. So for people who are thinking of selling within this year, definitely your best months to get the house on the market are gonna be um, September and October. And if you're someone who's looking to buy, if you're not too picky, you may wanna wait till later in the year. You've definitely got a more of a selection in September and October as there's a lot higher volume of new inventory coming onto the market, but you tend to get more motivated sellers in the late November and December markets as people are trying to get their house sold before year end. So you may be able to get a better deal in the later part of the year. Anyways, if you have any questions about the Guelph real estate market, please comment below and I'd be happy to answer them for you. Thanks and have an excellent day.